Okay, so I'm watching a Euroleague game between Real Madrid and Fenerbahce the other week, and I noticed this. Six players on the court are rocking the Kobe 6s. Then I'm watching the highlights of the NBA games. Once again, Kobe 6s all over the court. So I had to look it up and check if it's just me, or is everyone literally going with the shoe that was released back in 2010? And guess what? According to kickstats.com, who are literally tracking all professional players' choice of sneakers, Kobe 6 is the most worn basketball shoe in the world and it has been for a while. Alright, so it's not exactly the shoe that came out in 2010. All the Kobe 6s you see on the Euroleague and NBA courts are most likely the Pro Tro edition. That's the technologically updated and improved version of the original sneaker, which in short uses the modern day technologies on the classic design. In 2020, after the tragic passing of Kobe, rest in peace, Nike revived the line with this color but more importantly in 2023 both the Grinch and reverse Grinch versions became the hottest thing and I do mean the hottest because look at these stupidly high prices. I literally couldn't get a pair if I wanted to for anything under $1000 for a pair of sneakers. Okay I'll just leave that to the pros. But let's try to figure out what this whole craze for the Kobe's is all about, why are they so popular and how did we get to these insane prices. First we got to go way back to the 90s to get to know the history of Kobe's signature shoes. Trust me, it was quite a journey to get to the sixes. Now for most Gen Z basketball fans, including myself, this little fun fact might be a surprise. Kobe Bryant's first five signature shoes were actually produced by Adidas and not Nike. Kobe signed his first signature shoe deal in 1997 and this was his first ever pair called KB8. If you're into the sneaker game, you might know these as the Crazy 8s, which is the name Adidas had to use after Kobe departed. I should say it started all well for Kobe with Adidas, the KBA2 still looks dope to this day, but then the world unfortunately had to see KBA3s, which looking at it right now is all sorts of ugly. Those were followed by a shoe literally named The Kobe and man, I don't know. The Kobe looks like what a 5 year old would draw if asked to draw a basketball shoe. Craziest part is that Kobe actually wore those for a while and one of the reasons for the extended use was the fact that Adidas went even further with this insane blocky theme and released the Kobe 2. Jeez. Yeah, now you see why the move away from Adidas was inevitable. And that's where we get to the Nike era. The collaboration between the Lakers star and Nike had a rocky start, since it started around the same time Kobe got into legal trouble off the court. Despite the fact they managed to put out his first shoe in 2005 called Zoom Kobe 1, and this ladies and gentlemen is where the history began. From the very first iteration, the focus was on making the shoe lightweight. The trend continued as new shoes kept coming out with the second one looking a bit more like something you would put on in an ice skating rink. Kobe 3s were probably targeted at the people who have that fear of holes called trypophobia, but eventually we got to the Kobe 4s. The shoe that actually revolutionized the game by going away from the traditional high ankle support and introducing the very feared low cut profile. Before I go into why Kobe 4s were fundamental in the evolution of Kobe's signature shoes, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, SK Store. All this talk about these exclusive Kobe shoes worth thousands makes me appreciate sports closing stores like skstore.eu. They not only have all the basketball gear you would need, like sneakers, apparel and basketballs themselves, but also make sure you can get some drip for your everyday look. Old school jerseys, NBA team merch, including these really cool caps from Kobe's era. Make sure to check them out at skstore.eu and get all that you want delivered to any European country with a 5% discount if you have their partner loyalty program. Coming back to Kobe 4s, that at the time bold choice to go low cut is telling so much of what a genius sports mind Kobe was. Working together with one of the GOAT sneaker designers at Nike, Eric Avar, Kobe had a very logical but at the same time against the grain thought. Just point blank said, I want the lowest, lightest weight 
basketball shoe ever. Why do basketball shoes need to have a high collar if athletes in other sports like soccer, it's football. Also run, stop at high speeds and jump, but there is no mythical concern on rolling the ankles. The focus was on the wrong thing. It's not the collar that needs to support the ankle when it's rolled, but the base of the shoe that needs to ensure that the ankle doesn't roll in the first place. He knows that I'm a big soccer guy. And uh, you know, my belief was that they cut as much or if not more than we do, and they're able to play in low cut shoes. So I said, well, why not basketball? So you know, let's do a basketball shoe that's low. And that's when in 2008, Kobe Force took the spotlight and not only became the most popular Kobe shoe until then, but actually revolutionized how basketball sneakers were understood. The lightweight and low collar combination became the new standard. And I know this video is on the sixes, but the fours are just as deserving of one. After breaking the mold with fours, Kobe 5 came out and that model just built on that same concept, but got even better. Nike made fives go even even lower and lighter, which set the stage for the star of this video, Kobe 6s. The lightest, the lowest model up until then, but in my opinion, it's simply the perfect basketball sneaker. I say that with confidence because back in 2011, I fell for the hype and also got a pair myself. And that was one of the best decisions I could have made. This was probably the first basketball shoe that I felt comfortable in right away and not just comfortable, but the most comfortable ever. Cushion was like no other shoe before. Combine that with lightness and stability you feel on the floor and you got yourself a winner. Now, besides all the technology and stats, I think what actually makes this shoe so iconic is the design itself. First of all, you have this mamba snakeskin like texture on top, which cannot be beat. Then there's the colorways they came in. For example, I had the blue camo version with neon green heel. And to this day, these are probably my favorite looking sneakers all time. The nostalgia just hits differently. Remember that Grinch Pro Tro edition I was talking about earlier? Well, Kobe would wouldn't be Kobe if he didn't debut these insane looking almost glowing shoes on the Christmas Day games. Also everyone sitting courtside was given a pair as a gift, other Lakers were also rocking these bright green shoes and just like that Christmas game sneaker reveal became a tradition the NBA fans anticipate every year. But let's go back to that Kobe shoe line history for a little bit. The successor Kobe 7s were really anticipated by most athletes after the success of the 6 but the reception after the release wasn't overwhelming. Maybe partially because this model didn't really need some sort of a built-in sock for ankle support, maybe because the design visually was not as good. I don't know, but I guess when perfection is reached, you can only hope to replicate it. And that's what I would call Kobe 8s that actually became as popular as the 6s and just like the 6s, 5s and 4s have been rebooted in the past few years and are being used by many pros. I had these too, this time in the blue glow color, but as nice as these were, they weren't beating those 6s. And that's pretty much the story of the rest of the Kobe line. No other shoe that followed later managed to attract so much attention and demand. Nike again went to some ridiculous attempts to support the ankle with the 9s, then actually made some solid additions with 10 and 11, finally drifted away from the original design with the AD edition. Of course, the fact that 6s came out when Kobe Kobe was still at his peak could be why they are so popular, but I'll say this one last time that the shoe was already ahead of its time back in the day and with the advancements of shoe technology, Kobe 6 has only become more complete. Add to that that exclusivity factor it has right now. These shoes are either released in smaller batches at the original 180 price tag or being resold by third party markets with those prices you saw earlier. Finally, these shoes carry a legendary legacy and you have all the reasons why Kobe 6s are worn so much and is the GOAT model of basketball sneakers. But perhaps you disagree with my take and have another favorite sneaker, which you should leave in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe for a Yanis jersey and check out this one about Americans who are taking over the FIBA basketball with naturalization.